You know, now that I'm a dad, it's time to start thinking about getting my son on a dating show sometime in the future. It's time to start seriously considering that and figuring out a plan of action about how I'm gonna make that happen. First step, I think, is to watch Dad chaperone their daughters on the button. Now, you may be getting deja vu right now because we already did this, but this is the second episode, or this is the other one they shot that day when the dads were in the studio. If you don't know what I'm talking about, strap in. If you don't know what the button is, I mean, you're just, you're, you're lost. I feel sorry for you, if that's the case. Truly. Welcome to The Button, a speed dating show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people can last on a date for 10 minutes, they win an all expenses paid second date. On this special episode of The Button, dads will chaperone their daughters on each date. If they feel like their date isn't a match, they too can press the button. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, the last one was dads spy on their daughters from the green room. This time is the the dad is actually on the date. He's sitting in. Yes, that, that's the case. Okay, this is great. What are you doing? I'm getting ready. <laughs> what does your dad want you to have in a partner? Um, I think he wants me to have someone responsible and kind and funny and with money. <laughs> All right, let's bring in your date. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm great. So Alex, Amira. Dude, this is so fucking nerve-wracking. I wonder if they told the dudes what they were doing. Just walk in there. Oh, shit. Ugh, sir, sir. Ugh. Sir, how we doing, sir? Nice to meet you. No, I only have the purest intentions with your daughter, sir. May I call you sir, or is that... Is it Mr. Sir? So I'm sorry. Who likes manly men? On a scale of 1 to 10, how manly are you? Ooh, how manly? I, uh, <laughs> well, I want to say like a 7 out of 10. Not the manliest. I mean, I'm, I'm a modern woman, but I like a little bit of like traditional things in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So that's when I say like manly man, like I want to feel like protected and like taken care of a little bit. Mm -hmm. Do you like your women to be discreet? What, what, is, what does that mean? Not everything is, is to be, to be, you know, when a person goes out, you don't need to show all of your talents or your beauty <laughs> or, I feel that it decreases the value of the person. Uh, I think to some degree. Show all of your talents. What do you mean? Like juggling? Like when I go out, should I not be juggling for people? I feel like that would just increase my value. Or doing this. That's a pretty cool talent. It's pretty cool. That usually impresses people. Should I not do that? Because I, when I do that in the club or whatever, people usually freak the fuck out. They're like, holy shit, how you do it that loud? And I'm like, it's just God-given talent, brother. That does not decrease my value. By the way, I know he's talking about talents. I know what he's talking about. I'm making a little goof, all right? Fuck off. <laughs> Listen, guys, I want to take a quick break to reflect on something real fast. You know, there's been a lot of change in my life, a lot of significant events that have taken place over the last year. And it made me think about change, right? Change can be scary. Change can be intimidating. There's fear and uncertainty with change, right? We like routine because we feel like we have control and then change comes along and shakes things up. And that can be a very scary thing. Well, I'm here to tell you that change can be a wonderful thing. Like for example, the fact that you can use Squarespace to change the look and feel of your website so that it exactly suits your needs. Something like that is a wonderful, beautiful thing that should be embraced. Squarespace, by the way, is the sponsor of today's video. Squarespace has professional website templates with designs for every category and use case. So you can customize your look, you can update the content, and you can add features to fit your unique needs. You can make any Squarespace template do exactly what you want so that your idea, your brand, or your business stands out online on every single device. That's a beautiful thing. Perhaps you could even say the website changes per device that it's on. If you're interested in learning more and you wanna support this channel, then just go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Cody Co for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, back to the video. Let's change back to the video. I would like her to be discreet. Uh, what you mentioned, you know, being revealing or wearing yes, certain clothing. Revealing. That's, that's important. That is definitely important. Amira, what do you think about that? I definitely like am comfortable showing off my body. And when I go out, I like to. I'm so... Fuck. <laughs> Why'd you press it? Uh, I felt there was a, kind of like a twitchy kind of on your lip, kind of like you were twitching a little bit. Could be nervousness. Okay. So, I don't know. Interesting. 
Have a good day. Bye. Yes. I feel like the dad and the, the dude got along pretty great, actually. Look at that. Everybody shake hands like, sir, we are, we see eye to eye on a lot of things. I don't know what the fuck happened to her, but me and you are, we are aligned. Nice meeting you. Sure. Very great. Nice to meet you. He's like, actually, you know what, sir? Sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down. Let's, we should fucking go on a date. You know, not like, not like you know, romantically. I just want to chat. Pick your brain, man. Let's talk reserved clothing, shall we? Let's chat. Good How's evening. It going? It's going great. Good. Good evening. I'm doing great. Ruben. Alex. Alex. Hey, Ruben. Madison, nice. Stand up for the father. Come on. He's supposed to stand up. Hello, Madison. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think of him? I like the way he sits. I like his posture. That's I just want to know what's under his hat. <clears throat> Can we see your hair? <laughs> Can we see? Uh, I, really, I really leave my hat on. Show him your hair. You no. gotta make sure you're not hat fishing. No, no, I'll, I'll leave the hat on. It's okay. Why don't you two share your body count? <laughs> Body count. In front of my dad. <laughs> um, the dad's like 145 personally. Ugh. It's like Jesus. I don't even know you knew what that meant. Oh, I know what it means. Trust me. I have porked 145 women in my day. Your dad has gotten around. Let's just say that. Um, Zero. <laughs> better be negative. Yeah. Let's just say it's under 10. Under 10? Yeah. I like that. I respect yeah. that. Yeah. I, I want to say around 10 as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there goes my next question. My next question was like. How do you feel about not having sex before marriage? That, that, I like that question. I, I think I'd like to think that I can meet a partner and maybe get married with them first before doing that. I feel like you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> this dude is just saying what the dads want to hear. You know, he's like, "Good, great question, sir. I, I mean, I would, I would love to wait till marriage. I am a huge fan of that. It's like, we all know you're fucking bald under that cap, dude. That's a little messed up, isn't it? Hat fishing, that's a term, hat fishing. I feel like that's like mean to bald dudes that just want to wear hats, you know? Or like balding dudes that just want to wear hats. Hat, he's not hat fishing. They just like want to maybe they think they look better in hats because they want to hide the hairline. Is that hat fishing? When's the last time you had sex, Alex? <laughs> last time I had sex, uh, I want to say about 72 hours ago. Someone you're involved with? Yeah, I'm, I'm involved with her, yes. Then what are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here, Alex? <laughs> just getting to know others yeah. and, and speed dating. Seeing what's out there. Keeping some options up. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um, <I> <laughs> that was a little, a little sketchy, right? I don't know. I don't know what is, you know, what the relationship is with the, with the, maybe they're just friends with benefits or whatever, but what if he was like, you know, yes, she is my wife, actually. What are you doing here then? Oh, I just, I love the show. I wanted to be on it. I don't know. Honestly, it sounds like you got some other people that you've been talking to, and, uh, like, it sounds like you're open to dating, but not all the way open. You, you're mm. kind of keeping your options open with that one other mm. person, so. I can respect that. Yeah. And we know you're fucking bald under there. So what are you looking for? Why did you come here to the bud? I take things very seriously. So like, I don't just date around because I think that people should be dating. Oh, well, my opinion, I should be dating for like, you know, I think that someone can like, you know, be my future wife, you know? Right. Yeah. Damn. How many times did you say you know in that? My opinion, I should be dating for like, you know, I think that someone can like, you know, be my future wife, you know? <laughs> Dude, holy fuck. That was like the most verbose way to say that in the world. <laughs> How the fuck did he just write an entire paragraph answering that question? I'm turning on the fucking captions for that. So like, I don't just date around because I think that people should be dating. Oh, well, my opinion, I should be dating for like, you know, I think that someone can like, you know, be my future wife, you know? <laughs> that was like that fucking clip of the, the kid. So you know, you can do anything, that clip. Have you ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so, you, you do, you could, you, you want, you want him to do you so much, you could do anything. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. You, um, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm 22, so, yeah. How about you? I'm 25. 25, okay. Yeah. yeah. Is there, like, a limit to your dating age range? I mean, no, because the last time I dated was 26. Okay. And I was, like, 21, so, yeah. you know, not a big deal. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not a big deal, for sure. As long as oh! Bye. Yeah, it's fine. No. I, <laughs> She's like, what the fuck, dad? Yo! He's three years younger than my daughter, and so I feel like he might need a little bit more time to establish himself <laughs> here, you know. As, yeah. I, I just love my daughter to death, you know. No, I respect that, like 100%. So it's, yeah, so. It's, it's, but yeah, man, hey. All right. Good luck. It was so Thanks. good to meet Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you so you much. Well. <laughs> she's like, she's definitely gonna get his number in the green room after. So nice to meet you. Bye. What the fuck, dude? Dad! You're fucking embarrassing me! How's it going? Good. 
Divine. Divine. Madison, nice, nice to meet you. Oh, it's Divine. What's up, dude? What do you do for fun? Fun's my job. Essentially, I'm an artist. I'm as well as a studio manager downtown. Perform for her dad real quick. Show him a little something. Do you sing? Or can you I sing? do a little something. You feel me? I cannot see shit. I'm blinded by the limelight. No need to re shit. My. Ooh, that was rough. The first half was good. What the fuck? Was he just freestyling? Why not? It sounded like it was written and then he forgot the line or that was rough. Line by the line like no need to re shit my That was rough. I'm about to switch it up. It's okay. Ruben, what do you think of that? I mean <laughs> A for effort, he's doing good. Yeah. No, I got I, I got some trying. I got some other stuff, you know. Okay. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. Got a hands up. All up in a party. Is it enough? Psychedelics and a Molly. Flashing light. <laughs> she was waiting for that. Mmm, good. Wow, yeah, Molly. That was a cool <clears throat> fucking whoa. No, it's good. Um you know, his voice is not bad, actually. I, so I can feel sorry. it in my body. I'm feeling right for the night. So come a little closer. Come a little closer. <laughs> but that's just like a snippet and nice. stuff like that. That's just like, a, I'm not gonna give you the whole thing. I mean, it's just a snippet. I'm not gonna, I know you're like, I know you're probably craving more of that, but I know you're probably begging for the end, but that's just, I'm just giving you a snippet. Drop it on Friday. All right. <laughs> Hi. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Uh, Calvin. Calvin. Calvin, I'm Madison. Nice to meet you. That's a pretty good name. Thank you. Madison, what's your favorite way to express yourself sexually? Oh, come on with these questions. The, the dads are there. <laughs> I don't know. Getting a little dressed up and looking cute and putting on a cute outfit. Like lingerie? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe like a little cute. That's acceptable, yeah. So what's your favorite, like, foreplay? Um... I really like kind of like biting on the ear a little bit and like being bitten on the ear. <laughs> Damn, dude. This is really uncomfortable. Really uncomfortable. Dad's just sitting there like... Also, like, I don't, like that's probably the most PG answer he could have given, you know? So that's good. Honestly, though, the answer he gave was the most in front of a dad answer you could possibly give. I don't know, fucking, I uh, like my ears nibbled on. <laughs> like, what else are you supposed to say? Uh, I don't know, I like my getting my shit sucked. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, getting my shit sucked directly off. Like, my shaft and head and balls. I don't know, butthole play, I like. Tickle my taint. I don't know, like, finger blasting and, like... No, he went, you know, he went safe. Getting my nears ibbled. <laughs> getting my ears nibbled. That's so hot, dude. I love when someone nibbles on my ear like a little hamster. Oh, God, it freaking gives me a bone dog. Mm, little biting. Yeah. Nice. Little biting. Yeah, that's nice. You have, you have a job? I'm currently working in uh, uh, Seattle, uh, SeaTac, I think. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know what? I, I think I'm just going to press it. It's OK. Yeah. No worries. Thank you so much. What was your reason for buzzing me out? I didn't feel too much chemistry. Mm -hmm. that's, that's it. Yeah. yeah. No worries. What? what? Huh. So good to meet you. Yeah, you too. Thanks so much for talking with me and my dad. <laughs> you know, he's nervous. I get it. I would be fucking nervous too. Your sweater. Yeah, yeah, I like it too. I bought it for my sister and she didn't like it. Oh, so it looks I... really oh. good. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Instantly, I have to say I love the haircut. Thank you. It's kind of new. I've always liked kind of longer hair on myself and like shorter hair on girls. Oh, okay. You like that or are you non-binary? I, sh I shouldn't have seen that. No, yeah. No, yeah. girls, great. <laughs> This is my dad. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. What's your name? Uh, Calvin. Calvin, nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. I think <laughs> I love how nervous this guy is. He said, "You said Calvin, Calvin." Honesty and communication are the most important things in a relationship. Um, so I, I definitely value that. I guess probably say things about myself that I shouldn't like early on. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. You're yeah, you're open. Yeah. Calvin. Yeah. Rebecca gets the ick really easily. Ask her if you're giving her the ick at all. Are you giving me icks? Um, that's not the answer you want to that question at all. Um, that means, well, you know, that means, yeah. What other, <laughs> that's worse than yes, honestly. Uh, uh, just trying to figure out, like, trying to figure out which one she should talk about. Uh, yeah, 
yeah, definitely. I'm just trying to th I'm thumbing through the red flags that I've seen thus far. I don't know. I guess your uh, your stress is rubbing off on me a little bit, which is unfair, but that's my impression. It's very fair. Um, I get comfortable pretty easy around people, but like, this is a very sterile environment. Like, it's the first impression. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. That's very fair. Sorry. That's fair. That's fair. Get the fuck out of here. It's, you're freaking me out. That's fair. That's totally fair. But you're making me nervous because you're so nervous. Oh, he seems like a nice guy. You're just sort of soft spoken. That's fair. Yeah. But, nice to meet you. Hi. My name is Thomas. Hello. Hi, Thomas. I'm Mark. Mark, nice to meet you. A British dad? Damn. All right, British dad in the house. Uh, hello, I'm Mark. Hi, What's Becca. Your name? Becca, nice Becca. to meet you. Becca, Thomas likes nerdy, bookie stoners. Um, yeah. that's probably a decent. Maybe the first few words of it. I'm. Not, I wouldn't consider myself a stoner, but. Mm. How I... do you feel about stoners in general? How do you feel about stoning? Or, yeah, that's not the right way to say that. Or stonering. Stoner. Sorry, I'm super high. I can't think of the proper term. I don't mind people that like do it in the way of like it's for fun like to party i don't love an everyday smoker gotcha Is so i am an everyday smoker yeah. yes i'm quite an anxious person if i'm going to be honest with you and having that like like the thc kind of helps yeah. i'm not gonna lie i know for me it wouldn't like work with my lifestyle <laughs> 100 i don't know just need to i like don't like when i don't Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Smoke weed every day. That's all I gotta say. <clears throat> Smoke weed every day. What if he did that? Something to think about. You said that you didn't want an everyday smoker. Yeah. That's, that's not valid. We're, we're not aligned there. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing good. My name is Thomas. Thomas. I'm Amanda. Amanda. Nice good to, to meet, meet you. you. This is Kevin. Kevin. Thomas, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Yes, likewise. I love the coordination that you have with the colors and the nails. Thank the... you. I be... Oh, her. Thank you so much. <laughs> I try. Yeah, I You too. Ahead. I love the green shirt yeah, on no, you. Yeah, the green. Nice green. green. It matches it looks... my eyes, so that's why he wore that, I did, see? Yeah. It, I love the color coordination. Yeah. Thomas, honestly, right now, how kinky are you? How kinky am I? Cut the shit, let's get into something sexual and weird. It's a tough question to answer because Kevin's right here, but um, I- I just cannot get enough of my ears nibbled. You could nibble those things right off and I would be coming in my jeans. Fucking Mike Tyson me, please bite my fucking ear off like I'm Leonardo da Vinci. Is that the right artist? Is that the right reference? Vincent Van Gogh, fuck. Bite my shit off like a Vincent Van Gogh, girl. Have not had sex in quite some time, and I have not explored the kinkiness of sex. Not that it matters, but how long is a long time? It's been, let's just say it's been more than a year. Okay. Yeah, or two. <laughs> or two. <laughs> Buddy, you had, you didn't have to keep exposing yourself. <laughs> he told on himself. Let's just say it's been more than a year, which already is totally, you could have just been more vague than that. You could have just been like, let's just say it's been a while. Let's just say it's been longer than 365 days. Actually, no, two years. Let's just say that. Well, good luck to you. Or three. Or three. Oh, okay. I, I That's wait, like a okay, wait, wait, wait. Like, Sex that? is fun. It I is. mean, like, I hope that you find someone that Thank wants you. to have sex with you. It is. <laughs> Yes. Sooner than later. Sex is very healthy. It's a wonderful thing. I agree with you, Kevin. Kevin's fucking boning out all the time. You can tell. Kevin is fucking. You can... <coughs> I don't know why I said that so aggressively. Kevin is fucking. You can tell. I will say, however, that sex is not my number one priority. Good. Good. What is your number one? My number one priority is just having that connection, like being able to talk to someone. I would much rather just have quality time with a person than do it for sex. Kevin, is Amanda trustworthy? He's very trustworthy. That's awesome. She's a pretty good kid. Yeah, I don't lie. My thing is, I'm all about honesty. Like, Too I'm, honest. Because being lying is wrong, and it's bad, and it hurts people, so you shouldn't do it. Well, I will tell you, like, 
I've been in therapy for the past few years because of that very thing, you know? Like, I have been- Because you're a compulsive liar? Working through that, and I've been at a lot better spot. Like, I'm in a lot better spot now. I'm so glad. So therapy, like, is working for you? 100% it is, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's great. Are you in therapy? Yeah. I think everybody should be in therapy. <laughs> I know, everyone should be. People who think they shouldn't be. Well, we had a little, did you hear that little music right there? Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Are you in therapy? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, are they like, Prompting us to for a connection here. Is that what's happening? They're like it is this isn't this going well? That's what the music just said. Isn't this going swimmingly? People who think they shouldn't be I'm like, mm, like this guy. Are you in therapy? No, no, but I should go Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. You two seem like you're vibing. Okay. I like your connection. I'm just <laughs> waiting to hit the button. I just want to hit the button. That's not once. what it's about. No, I know but I just want to do it. You're scaring me, Kevin. <laughs> I'm gonna light up one more time okay. and if you two are feeling each other you win a second date if you don't press me. Kev's got the fucking dad, the dad watch on, the active watch, no shade, no shade. It's a dad move. Okay. No, come on, Buxy. There it goes. There it goes. Cool. Let's hit it, Kev, hit it. See. What is a second date? Do I hit? I think that's it. It's Rainbow! Oh, Rainbow! Oh, Rainbow! Congratulations! Thanks, Kev. Oh Congratulations. We did it. We did it. Where are you going to go on a second date? Where? Yeah, where? I don't know. Do you like vegan food? I love vegan food. Oh, it's great! Yeah. Okay, good. Dad, how do you feel about this match? Uh, I see that she is smiling, and that is the most important thing to me. So, uh, I guess we will probably get registered at Target for you guys. So <laughs> what does that you, mean? Well, you know, for the wedding the and registry, everything. registry, right? Yeah. So we, you can register at and Target. And I want can four we? grandkids, if that's, you know. That's the decision, I guess. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I'm good with it. We'll yeah. work on it. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Butsy. Bye, Button. It was nice to meet you, buddy. I don't like Butsy. <laughs> that was that was good. That was like that was cute. That was like most dad shit of all time. Right there, made a name for the button, Butsy. <laughs> and the grandkid joke and everything. Very dad. Very cute. Very nice episode. Very wonderful. And I think that if I were to, or if I, uh, you know, if if you didn't. If I was thinking about how to, you know, wrap up, or if I were thinking about how to wrap up the YouTube video, I would probably think, you know, because if I were to do it, I would probably think to say, like the video and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Shout out to my little hamsters out there. Keep biting those lobes. Bye.